Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the garage here in Mechanic Simulator 2015. Yep, that's right. It is the return to the garage here. We've got some to do. So we've got a Katagiri Matsumoto on left right here. And, well, I've a bit of a change of heart. Okay, so what we really need to do is maybe take a look at some of these other cars that we have waiting for us. So there's a couple of new ones that we haven't seen before. I'd like to get to this pickup truck. We're not going to get to that one yet. Look at what it's going to require. 4,526 experience points. You have one that is a little bit closer to us. 3,001. We're currently at 2,182. Got $6,885 in balance. What I want to do is get to the Delray Custom today, but you see a little bit of a, a journey ahead of us. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start going through some of these smaller jobs. I'm going to get to the 3,001 he required. Get that Delray Custom. So let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be doing a first here on this series. I am going to bring you along for a little bit of a time lapse. Well, hopefully it works out. I'm going to bring in a bunch of cars right in succession until we can get to the Delray Custom. But better way than to bring you along for that. So let's get that started. You'll hear some music coming in right about now.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is about time to take a look back at our orders that are waiting for us. Well, we're not quite going to get to the Delray Custom. My point is to show you guys cars that we have not looked at before, and we have not seen this Mio Vini Urs or the Sakura GT20 before. So we're going to pull those in. Uh, first one we're going to do is the Mio Vini Urs. It's the stuff that we've got to work on. So hopefully we can get through this before the end of this episode. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to put that on the lift. Now before we do, I'm going to make sure to get camera and excuse me, phone. No, no, no. I don't need to be talking there. Okay. Here. There. Okay. So we've got our screenshot. Right, and we are going to move this to the left lifter. We've got a lot of stuff ahead of us. Take a look at our orders. Okay. So front spring, front hub. Inner tie rod, anything? Outer tie rod, steering rack. Okay. Quite the order we're going to be tearing this thing apart. So, um, I did get a tip from viewer that you stars, and apparently that's going to help finding these things. They got front suspension, rear suspension. All right, so let's put this thing up in the air. Back up a little bit. It is kind of loud, the lift going up there. Come under here, and hopefully we can pull in. Salmon mode, tension arm, rack, yep. See, plenty of stuff to do here. Okay, so. All right, so let's get into disassemble mode. Try right, getting to all that. Five of these. We'll pull the tire off like we need to do. And let's go in here. It looks like the brakes are fine. No, no, no. In here, what's... That was, yeah, front wheel. So that's the one to replace there. Okay. And then over here on this side, we're going to have to here and that is. So the tires are fine, but it's stuff. And let's back here. Brake pads. Ring. All right. Get rid of that, and we can't pull spring out because we got to get rid of the front shock absorber. Way bar. Then we can get rid of the shock absorber. Good. In the spring, blend about here. I'm not sure if in particular they look pretty bad. Who knows? Guy uh, inner tie rod needs to be replaced, so come around here we should be able to get to that. So inner tie rod gone. Steering rack. Okay, so we need to go to the other side. We've got a button here. We have here. That's being held on by the uh, caliper. Those brake pads look fine. Okay, wheel hub bearing. Gotta pull that out before front wheel hub. I'm trying. I'm not gonna move the camera around if I don't have to. 
support our business. Lower suspension arm that needs. There's the lower suspension arm. Come up here. Like our outer tie rod here is just fine. But we have to remove both of these tie rods to get to back. It's good to go. Now let's go back into examine mode. Gotten rid of parts we air. Um angly. Start putting all of that back together. Let's look in our inventory again. We've got a set of brake pads, front spring, high rod, suspension arm. So we'll go into the car parts shop and shop. Brakes, set of brake pads, running gear. Your tie rod, wheel hub, steering. So let's look back at our inventory. Okay, looks like that's fine. We've got. There's a hundred percent. That's good. Outer tie rod. Those. Inner tie rod. Outer replace. Suspension arm. Got one of those. Those. Okay, I think we're good to go on reassembling here in the front. Let's do that, shall we? Bring back. This will go into a load. 100% are on. The lower suspension arm, good. That one should go. Back up here, we've got the steering rack. We can. Yep, the percenter. Okay. Go back through and put the brakes on. Those, I think, yeah, that was the correct put on. This one, I'm not sure. I don't think it matters so much that you put it on in the right spot. What else do we have here? Wheel hub bearing. Something. On. Yep. And then we'll go to the other side. Once the wheel is on. Here. Symbol mode. Front spring. Shock absorber. Bolts to put in there. Brick pads 100%. Lumper. These in. We have our front end link. Put on there. Come around. Put on the new inner tie rod. And the new outer tie rod. Yeah, we've got the... There we go. And I hope I didn't forget anything. We've done that before. We've been known to leave parts. So let's take a look. And once again, it is messing up with the scrolling. One. All. All right. Yep. So this is what I would expect. So we're going to sell all of these. Okay, just to clear out the inventory, let's take a look at the jump spring cap. So that looks like it. 
back in the back. Break. Okay, so take a look back here. Uh, into our. Okay, so let's go into this assemble. We'll start taking apart all this stuff here. Yeah, those brake pads look pretty bad. Okay, let's still go into... Okay, so we still have some parts that need... Okay. Can we get to that rubber bushing? Yes, we can. Good, that one needs to be replaced. Brake disc. Lots of stuff you got to remove just to get to various parts. Dimensions are quite complex. Rightfully, they should be. Keep the car running smoothly on otherwise rough roads. Do we need to get anything? Okay, a rubber bushing and way bar. So we're going to have to go from both sides way bar. Let's see if we can get that rubber bushing out though. Yeah, there we go. Way bar. What's it be? Dubai. Okay. All right, coming over here. Get this higher. Ah, yeah. Wow, look at that brake disc. That one definitely placed. And those brake pads as well. Take a look at. So there was supposedly a spring that needed to be replaced. Maybe I'm missing. It. I'm not. Uh, let's bring up this spring cap. It's a spring cap. That that part of the job is done. Uh, okay, so we've got three rubber bushings removed. Back in here. Need to get to the spring cap. Still working on drive axle and the sway bar. They have been doing in this car to require this level of tension work. Hopefully they've been driving it safely. Move the rear wheel hub, okay. Can't get there. Should be able to get the spring cap. And now can we get No. So we have to remove that now. Oh, it's being held on on the other side. But we can get this rubber bushing while we're at it. That one placed. Come over here. Sort of. Yeah. Now. Okay, pretty good. So let's go over to the parts store once again. And real quick, we need a set of brake pads, two sets of brake pads, bushing, a brake disc, drive axle, two rubber bushings. There should be another one on here. Yes, yeah, so three rubber bushings. Hopefully I can remember all this. It's the one. Rear wheel hub. Way bar. So 
So we've got replacements for the rubber bushing. We need two sets of brake pads. Spring cap. Wheel hub. Oh, yeah, there's one that we replaced. That's a brake pads. Quite the expensive repair here. So brake pads are bought, rubber bushings are bought, your wheel hub, brake disc, need, your drive axle. Okay. Disc. Here. Rear drive axle. Scroll down here to got the brake disc now. Rear drive axle, so not rear drive axle. B way bar B. Yep. Now let's take a look at our inventory again. Sway bar we Alright, I think I think we are ready to go. Focus here. Back. Go back into assemble mode. Do first. Well since the sway bar was the last thing we removed, it would be the first thing we put back in. Thing works to this side that our rear end link back on okay new spring cap let spring shock absorb cap there I think that was the new one there if not we'll make sure to put the one that doesn't need to be repaired on the other side Wheel hub, fine. There's some drive it. That back on. Okay, redoing the brakes, and I hope I'm not forgetting things here. Find out soon enough once we get this all done. For the most part, this game has been pretty intelligent in terms of showing me what still needs to be replaced, but occasionally we do run into issues. Um, so, go back to a symbol mode. Here, missing some rubber bushings, that's for sure. We've got to get those back in. That, okay, so we got one. Okay. Go. Too shabby. All right, almost done. We still got rubber bushings to replace right here. I think one on the other side. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, let's see if I can reach it. Yes, I can. And still to put on is higher. And then we'll go back through our inventory, make sure that we put everything back. Take a look. Look all just to refresh page and it looks like we're good to go. Let's check the repair order. Right gotten all of that done let's pull the car back off lifter is obstructed oh you can't even stand under it that's interesting should be able to turn this finish the job and we're now up to 2756 experience we're pretty close to getting that delray custom but i think what we're going to have to do is next episode we will get 
the Sakura GT20 in. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Let me just fill all these and we'll get the final balance. You get a little bit of scrap money for this. And uh, let me just show you something else that I've run across here. We've got a paint shop that we can get to once we get to 5,000 XP. And then we've also got test. Need to have $15,000 to buy that. We might have to wait a little bit there and then done. We don't have the performance DLC for that. I think that's a fairly recent addition to the game. I'll have to take a look at that. I'm not sure. I got all of the DLC that I that was available when I bought the game, so that might have been after the fact. But anyway, next time we are going to be pulling in the Sakura. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on, on the channel. But that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.